What up, everybody? It's your girl, July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how to make your 808 samples last longer in both grain and the NNXT so you can do better slides. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is pick my 808 samples. Now, I'm going to put handle in the NNXT. That is from my Raven Wings drum kit, and I'm going to go into Spider Demon, and I'm going to grab vaccinate all right so we got two different sounding 808s i'm gonna start with grain for this so i'm gonna turn it up so that we can hear it more i'm gonna drag this right locator so that we can see the entire duration of the sample i'm gonna change this to tape this is the algorithm and i'm gonna keep it on forward loop so my original sample would sound something like this after i set the pitch um let's see all right, cool. Yes, that is what our sample sounds like, and it is looping, so we see it's constantly repeating. What we want to do is find a point within our sample that sounds good that that sounds good looping. So we can turn up our loop crossfade as well so that we don't get pops. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of attack. And now we have a good sounding 808 loop, I mean, and now we can just add our distortion. This is Camel Crusher, and we'll put it on Legato down here, put Portamento on, and our time is in a good place, so now we can slide. I'm not much of a slider, so uh, I'm just messing around there. But let's go into the NNXT now. We're going to right click. I already dragged my sample in. Right click, set root notes to pitch detection. Let's go ahead and move this range down a bit so we can play lower notes if we want to. After that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click edit sample. And we're going to take this and put it on loop mode, the second option here. We're going to take our left and right loop locators and we're going to move them to points within this waveform that are at zero. Zero means it'll be at this line here. So we can take this and see what this sounds like. We're going to put on crossfade. And that sounds good to me, so I'm going to leave it like that. Hit save. And now when I play my 808, it sounds like this. Let's go up a bit higher. And I can hold it for as long as I want to. Remember, our original 808 sounded like this. Actually, I'll have to find it and play it for you. It's in the Raven Wings drum kit. And it sounds like... this so that's our original 808 and we just looped it so now it sounds like this so it lasts longer which is great that's what we want so all of those parameters that i just edited are also here in the loop start loop edit although you can get more finite within the sample edit window so remember that if we want to uh to what's it called bend this we're going to put key poly on one. We're going to put group mono on and turn the button on. And you're going to switch this to legato, turn our portamento up, and now we can slide. That's the word I was looking for. We can also put it on retrig if we want the beginning to sound every time. then our slides aren't as prominent, or they aren't prominent at all if we put it on retrig. That's why we need legato. But it is all up to you and your preference. We can go ahead and put our distortion on this as well. So 
something like that. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, both July 303 and Kickback Couture. Tons of content coming. Make sure you join the free team. I have tons of free stuff available, free presets, free drum kits, free loot packs, and there's also premium stuff if you want to check out that as well. So I'll see y'all next video.